<laughs> Welcome to the Builder Factory! You're probably wondering why you're in this place. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. My name is Bill Durr, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <coughs> Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? The tool wheel is available under the scroll, or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now! Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. and reinforcements. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job! Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Great job! Did you know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? You just became part of it. Same principle as with formwork. Click or hold. Good job! Now it's time for the creme de la creme! Pouring the foundation! Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, builders waiting just for you! That's it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Yeehaw! Welcome back! You're probably wondering how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it. Choo-choo! You can create two types of mixes. Mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. So make it quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. 
Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in.
time for concrete! You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow! Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? Pour it over! scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. Now, every building needs an insulation. Fun fact! You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Now, place the insulation over. and pour out the final concrete layer. done with a concrete screen loop. It'll get a lot better and rewarding from now on. Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. See you later, excavator! of walls. Load-bearing walls, plasterboard, and concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. We're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. You leveled up again. Holy trowel. Let's see what happens now. Amazing. It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data. Let's put up the scaffolding. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, when you get close to the ladder, you can fold and unfold it. Good work! You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer! 
Never heard of it? Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Right. It's time to place it in the hologram. Fabulous! Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. Put the ceiling blocks in the hologram. Extraordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drill. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. Next step will be doors and windows. See you later. Yeah! Welcome back. Eager to learn more? Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one front door. Great. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. After placing the door, you have to choose which pattern you like and apply it. insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. on the highlighted areas. If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice for you. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the phone. We'll talk about it later. Amazing! Let's move on to windows. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done. Now try inserting them just like a door. Same principle, same fun. Now 
it's time to put in all the screws you need. Next step, insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Did you see how the phone filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Great! Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage! Yeah! Ah, my friend! Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> Let's go to the training room. Partitions separate rooms from each other and should, therefore, have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Great! Now place them in the hologram and screw them in with a drill. Remember that the profiles are screwed to the ceiling and floor. job! Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to. Isn't that amazing? Buy 100 plasterboards. Well done! Now place them on one side. Great! After installing the plasterboard, you need to use screws to attach it. Take your drill out and screw them in. Nice! Every wall needs to be insulated. Mineral wool is often used to do that. Buy 20 mineral wool in the shop. Excellent. To lay the plasterboard on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. This is how 
partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plaster ports to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course by 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Good job! Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much, but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. the concrete partition wall. you can destroy them! But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. This time, I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack! 
If you're not happy with the partition walls, take a sledgehammer in your hand and destroy them! You've already got the walls covered. I wonder what's next. See you in a minute. Yeah! Hello, my fellow builder. What goes up and down? What stays in the same place? Stairs. Follow me. You can build any shape of house. You can build a house as big as the plot of land will allow you to. But to get to the floor of your house, you need stairs. In some cases, a no clip is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy one staircase in the shop. Great! Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. And now, just like with doors and windows, you can choose the type and color of stairs! Not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. Psst. This also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your sledgehammer. Nice. Now, buy one more stairs in the shop. You're quick. Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. We want you to have fun after all. Thank you and see you later. Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof! Follow me! It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof. Starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof. Ending with multi-slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy Hip Roof Blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers.
mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. Just kidding! More bearing walls! <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles. Superb! Put tiles on the roof. Have you ever heard of following the procedure? I bet you didn't. Good! Choose a plastering trowel from the tool wheel. Every time you choose plastering trowel out again, you have to put the bucket next to you. Don't worry, the bucket disappears automatically when you change tools, so you can easily move it around. You can finish buildings from the outside using a number of materials, and on a few of them, you can change the color. The next step is to mark the area of the wall you want to finish. Try to mark it now. Good job! Now you see a menu with different house finish textures and a color tray. Each time you change a color, the game will remember up to the last five modifications, so you have easy access to the most recently used colors. Choose the first available texture from the list and apply it to the wall. You can hold or click. You set the pace of the game. If you run out of material while filling the wall, then collect more from the bucket you set up earlier. The first time, the menu will open automatically. 
Then, to change the material, approach the bucket and select Change Material. It's starting to look like a real house. Let's go inside. Choose a blaster gun from the tool wheel. Got a gun in your hands in the simulator? Shoot it. This may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Now for the serious part. Spread the plaster over the interior walls of the building and the ceiling. Do it thoroughly. Remember the corners of the walls and the wall pieces by the door. look like plaster is running down them? That's exactly what it is! Choose a skimming blade from the tool wheel. Then flatten the walls and ceiling to prepare them for painting. Don't forget that the wall is also in the door recesses. visit. But wait! You're the one! We've reached the finishing stage, which is not mandatory, but it is a lot of fun. The game is mostly about building, but what would buildings be if they didn't have floors, painted walls, exterior finishes, and furniture? Ha! We have it all! You can put wallpaper, tile, or paint the walls. For wallpaper and tiles, you need to buy a blueprint at the store. But for the purposes of the tutorial, let's use a solution that requires a tool. Select a paint roller from the tool wheel and place the paint tray on the ground. This works very similarly to plastering. Then mark a piece of the wall you want to paint, or click the right mouse button or left trigger to mark the whole wall. You already know the rules. And again, quite a selection of textures and colors. Choose the first texture from the list and let's paint the wall. After painting the three strips, scoop the paint from the paint tray. Isn't that what playing the game is all about? Fun, fun, and more fun. I believe the end result of your house will be electrifying. Thank you. 
that's about it when it comes to insulating, plastering, and painting the walls. In the next tutorial, we'll play with floors and furniture. See you later! Yeehaw! Welcome to the tutorial that everyone was waiting for! Here it is! Follow me! I modified a bit of the building you left out of the previous tutorial. I don't want to brag that it's prettier now, but how can you not appreciate such artistic genius? Remember the Bill 24 store? It's no longer available because you no longer need anything from it at this stage of construction. Don't worry, the items you had in your inventory have been sold without any loss as you won't need them anymore. Let's go directly to the floors. Open your tool wheel and choose floor template. Put the package on the ground first. And then, just like with walls, you can pick and choose materials. Nice! Use the right mouse button to indicate the area where you want to lay the selected floor type use the mouse wheel to change the laying direction. Accordingly, use left trigger and D-pad on the controller. Remember, if you want to change the material, you have to approach the packaging first. Now fill all the rooms with the first available material. Beautiful and clean, I could eat off that floor. <laughs> and now, something everyone wanted but no one expected. Like finding money in an old jacket. From now on, you can buy furniture and play not only as an architect, but also as an interior designer. Welcome to Glossmer. This is where you can buy furniture, accessories, paintings, and other. But who, if not you, can handle two very complicated degrees? Where to get in, you only have to beat 100 other applicants for one place at the university. Now let's have some fun! Buy a bathtub! Good job! Now buy two items from the kitchen furniture set. Good! Now buy a 16 by 9 picture frame. That's all we need now. We can close up store. Any interior piece you buy can be modified to scale. Select a bathtub and use the mouse wheel or D-pad to make it smaller or larger, then place it in your house. If you bring an object close enough to a wall or other piece of furniture, the game will show you dimension lines that determine the distance from them.
Superb! Now let's put some kitchen furniture in your home. You can rotate each item using the right mouse button or the left trigger on the controller. With double click, you can rotate items quickly by 90 degrees. Rotating objects indicates two values, global and local. The one in the middle is global and suggests the exact angle of the object relative to the game world. It allows you to accurately position an object evenly, e.g. at a 90 degree angle. And the local value shows how many degrees the object was rotated relative to the previous setting. It may sound scary, but it's very simple and intuitive. If you're wondering about doors and windows, you can change them at any time by right-clicking on them using the hands tool. Hang a picture frame on your wall, and you'll see what I mean. Great! Now click on the picture frame with the right mouse button or the left trigger on the controller. You can choose any image from the library prepared by our graphic designers or upload your own. You didn't miss here. When you click on the plus, you'll see simple instructions on how to do it. But for now, let's pick one prepared by the developers. That looks absolutely gorgeous! You can change the image on the wall at any time by right-clicking with the hands tool, just like with doors and windows. After uploading your own image, just open and close the image menu and the list will refresh. The last task for today will be to sell the put-up kitchen furniture. Choose scanner from the tool wheel. Walk up to the object and hold right mouse button or left trigger to sell it. You can also duplicate the item you're looking at with left mouse button. But we're focusing on quick selling. Great job! Remember that the interiors are not obligatory, which means that you can modify them as much as you want and how you want. Paint walls, change furniture and floors until you get the effect that you want. Remember, you can put in the interior doors at any time and you'll find them in the materials category. Choose one that fits your interior. Good luck! Yeehaw! are an important part of the finishing touches around the house. If you choose the right type of paving, you can achieve a really nice effect. Let us start from the beginning. You can dig the path in the place you marked on the planner, but this time, I've marked it for you. Have you ever had a more talkative sidekick? Take your shovel and dig the highlighted area. with paths is choosing the right paving stones. To do 
this, you need to open the store. Choose Paths category. Buy 100 cobblestones. Good job. Now that you have the cobblestone, you can select it from your inventory. Once selected, you will be shown a menu which you can always open using PPM or left trigger on controller. Choose a pattern and complete the path. you can go back to the paths and replace them by purchasing the cobblestone. That's all for now. See you later. Yeehaw! Welcome to the source of our game. We call it Planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build. Sounds great. You can save your projects, and if you want to, Share them with other players. How cool is that? I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. You have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. Try to hide and show the help panel. Good job! Let's start with the load-bearing walls. Select them from the element. You can create walls in a line or a rectangle by pressing Shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls! Let's draw the plasterboard partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Amazing. I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall. Everybody likes to peep at their neighbors. The windows are of different sizes. Increase or decrease them as desired. The largest windows are terrace windows. Insert four windows. Great! Now you can move freely between levels! 
everything you did on the ground floor, you can do on the first floor. Except for swimming pools and paths, but that's common sense, right? The load-bearing walls of the building go from level to level as the base of the building, and you can't move them after adding a floor. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool and paths. Let's go to the ground floor. A swimming pool is simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate it. Draw a swimming pool next to your house. Good job! I think we might need some path to the swimming pool, don't you think? Let's choose a path, increase it a little, and draw it to the end of the pool. After you mark out the path, you put paving stones in their place. Great! Let's check that we have everything. Amazing! Let's save this project. Call it how you like. on any available level on the medium plot of land. The largest plot is huge, so lots of creative fun ahead. However, if you don't want to spend time designing houses, you can use the random option. See you later!